Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we have another Dick Taylor vanilla milk chocolate, 55% chocolate, that is made from the Alexandri family farm, A2A2 milk. I'm not sure what that means, but on the back of the box it says that it's a vanilla milk chocolate and it comes from Brazil. It's made with the highest quality Brazilian cocoa and it is an old-fashioned organic A2A2 whole milk uh, crafted with 55% milk chocolate from Madagascar vanilla beans. So the chocolate is from Brazil, the vanilla is from Madagascar. This is going to be a wonderful chocolate. It's handcrafted in Eureka, California. And what else do we see here? It's a bean-to-bar chocolate. And as always, I say, Dick Taylor's chocolate has always the most beautiful designs and in this case the design on the front is a nice meadow. There's a river running through it, there are some cows, there's a nice little valley. It's just beautiful design that make you really feel like you're living in a little house on a prairie, uh, which is always nice to see. Let's get this one tasted. So like other Dick Taylor chocolates, it's like a really, really thin envelope kind of package. And it has a little bar on it to rip it open. It's been nice and sealed. It's got its signature Dick Taylor uh, wrapping. And I'm going to expect the same Dick Taylor logo and pattern cross-stitching on the chocolate itself. I can feel this one's already broken up though uh, in the packaging. Maybe it's a bit of a thinner chocolate. We'll see. And you can just turn over the big pieces. Yeah, so we got the same Dick Taylor chocolate logo on this side, just like all of their other chocolates. This one's coming up uh, really nice, kind of like a, a hot chocolate, dark hot chocolate smell um, as we open the package. Um, the edges and the break sound really crisp and sharp and snappy. And I can't tell much else from the color or anything about what this chocolate will taste like. It's pretty dark looking um, and pretty fragrant. So very appetizing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm, this one is the most fragrant mm -hmm. that we've had today. It's a beautiful. Really pungent, vanilla. dark, sharp that reaches mm -hmm. the back of your your sinuses. But it's a strong vanilla. Like you, you can tell this is not your know, vanilla extract because that's extremely strong. But you can tell this is a very clean, very strong uh, vanilla flavor. Like oh, oh, as soon as you open the packaging, you can smell it. It wafts at you. The chocolate itself, not very melty. You know, it's not on my fingers yet. But it's, you know, it's a pleasure of the senses type of a deal, you know, and, and in this case, my my nose is is feeling very nice. Ready? Three. Two. One. one. This is a very solid, heavy chocolate. Not heavy, but solid, and then mm -hmm. it'll take a while for it to melt and break down. But because of that, it has a long time to generate different flavors and sensations in your mouth. Some sweet, some bitter. Mm -hmm. I agree. I would, call this, I would call mm -hmm. this semi-sweet. Like it's a semi-sweet chocolate. Mm -hmm. Not not very sugary, but it's also not very dark and bitter. It's just on that semi-sweet edge. I think the first thing that I got when I put it in my mouth is like a very floral sweetness. Not a sugar sweetness, but a floral sweetness, like almost fruity, like if I was tasting a flower, or you know how they have those edible flowers in fancy restaurants? Almost like that, like it's just, just a hint of flavor. <laughs> it's, just, it's just a hint of flavor. And the meltiness, I agree with you, it's, it's beautifully melty. It doesn't melt quickly. It takes a long time, mm -hmm. and so because of that, you get a bunch of other notes. And I, there's a pretty strong bitter aftertaste that I'm getting or afterwards. Agree. Or agree. Yeah, even if it starts sweet, and for that, I don't really like it. I agree. After you are done with it, mm -hmm. like it's 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 not at the back of your throat. For me, it's over here, like the the leftover the leftover impression 
of that chocolate and maybe in the top corners of my mouth over here there, there is like a little bit of that I want to say lactic acid maybe from the milk and so I think just from that like acidic point the chocolate isn't very well balanced but in terms of like the initial smell profile and the sweetness profile of the chocolate I think I'm very happy with it how would you rate it? Mm, I'd give it a four. A four? I don't really like dark chocolate. Interesting. And this one, even if it's semi-sweet, it has that weird bitter notes at the end. I agree. I agree. Mm -hmm. I, I do I do have the feeling of wanting to wash it out and clean mm, my mouth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I think I would give it a five still. Almost like the vanilla is spoiled or something. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I really interesting. don't like it. Interesting. Yeah, I'd give it a five. I think I agree with you on the aftertaste and the bitterness piece, but I do think that the way they incorporated the vanilla, which to me was quite nice, um, sort of puts it at that middle mm -hmm. mark. Yeah. Um, because the shot of chocolate's pretty subjective, so yes. you should yeah. also try it out yourself. Definitely. Try, try out, you know, Dick Taylor's Vanilla Milk Chocolate, 55%. Let us know what you think about it down below. Is it too sweet? Is it not sweet enough? Is it, you know, leaving an aftertaste? Or is there no aftertaste and we're just strange? Let us know what you think and we look forward to your comments. Until next time. Bye.